welcome to uh, the beginning of June Cotswold Country Flowers Garden Tour. Um, can't wait to show you how the garden's changing and I can't quite believe we're almost halfway through the year but um, yeah let's just crack on and uh, compare it with last month. So the area under the apple tree, all my bits and pieces bed, got the Neria coming up, got the Ami coming up, foxgloves, a bit of corn cockle, all sorts going on, nothing supported so they just have to fend for themselves, um, honesty, etc, etc. Yeah, so just looking very natural with any leftover plants popped in. Okay, so apple mint is now through the net. So looking pretty tall now, and I am starting to use it a little bit now as well. It's it's just about strong enough. Um, fox gloves, absolutely glorious. So I've been using quite a few of these, and. Um, I've got subscription flowers next weekend, so there'll be a few in there. They're quite big for that, but um, and I've got some uh, florists' orders next week as well, and a couple of other events. So they're all looking fab. And bunny tail grass. I must cut some of these today for drying. They're looking getting quite high. Some of these now. And the bits and pieces bed. Cornflowers have done all right in here actually. GMs, I seem to have a little bit of red popping up. I thought I'd actually um, taken that out, but anyway, it's still there. Quaking grass I need to remove. Just needs a bit of a weed here. The Ami is flowering. A bit of fever few here, a nice bit of black fly on it. So the bugs all and the ladybirds will get at that soon. So yeah, patio pots are coming on now as well. The mint is taking off and the larkspur, um, biddens, moby malatum and calendula all in the wheelbarrows and a, a different view of my dry patio bed. Looking quite uh, full. But but we do as well. Okay, let's have a look at the animals. Okay, so the oxide daisies are really taking hold now and border here. So I've been using them while well, they're looking good and upright. The pink campion's come to an end, so I'm going to be pulling that out as soon as I can. But yeah, quite a different picture on the annuals' beds. Little scan around. Okay, so let's start on the left, which is where I normally start. Uh, the Dicus, so I've been cutting a little bit of that. Um, uh, mainly autumn sown Dicus. And the Sweet Williams are really, really coming into their own right now. So mainly Auricular I mixed there. Delphiniums, God, they're taking their time to flower. They've been wanting to pop for what seems like weeks, but they're still not quite there, not the outside ones. The Melope, I did notice a flower. Melope Vulcan just there. Um, yeah, so, and I've got a, um, some shorter ones just, just, just here, so, um, and I've got a few more I can plant up there. Newport Pink, uh, Sweet William and Alba. And then on the other side, the nigella, which was autumn sown and then planted out. More sweet william, and that kind of like ready mix. The phacelia's come out, and in has gone some helichrysum, corn cockle, and corn flower. Corn flower in all sorts of different colours. So looking lovely. 
loving this tall tall double mix I believe this is as well as the blue in the middle and then I've got black all on the end let's just look at the sweet pea arch as we go down so I'll be cutting these sweet peas this morning real nice stem length on them at the moment these were the autumn sown sweet peas these ones at the front the ones at the back towards the back of the arch were sown this year earlier this year right let's have a look around And I'm going to walk through the arch now. It's really rather nice. Interesting comparison of this nigella bed. So on the left here, these were direct sown. Um, and on the right, these were sown in modules first, and they're probably a foot shorter, but they are the same variety. I've interplanted with Calendula, Art Shades, and I believe Pink Surprise. Art Shades on this side, and it's looking like Pink Surprise on this side. Because I reckon in a week or so, the Nigella will be finished or this batch of nigella renunks are just eking out the last of the renunks but i've interplanted already with some flocks so that's ready to come through corn cockles come out larkspur's gone in and then this is my succession of ami in here it's actually almost flowering but it's quite a lot smaller than the autumn sown as you'll see in a minute okay so now i think my cosmos needs a bit of feeding it's gone a bit yellow in places um got a couple of small flowers on it um so here's my ami just picked some yesterday it's a little bit early but again that's just all gonna pop at once i've got my environment pretty much wrapped around it to um uh, stop the carrot fly and i've got to corral it because it's gonna it will topple over in a minute rather like this hesperus has missed the boat and um it sort of pulled itself over the white flowered first and that I'm gonna to have to clear that today so I've got so much to plant so many other things that can go in there so it's just wasting space there at the minute and the yeah the pink is still usable but um, only just and then I've got my Rudbeckia interplanted with a Moby Malartum if you can see a better a Moby Malartum going to come out I can try these and there's a Rudbeckia haven't got many Ooh. I haven't got many that survived the winter but it was a bit of an experiment but I have got some and the ones that are here are going to last longer and the ones that are here are going to flower earlier is what I meant to say and the ones that are here are going to flower much earlier than they would have done had I grown them from seed. Okay, I'm just going to scan around the, the border. Look at all the weeds. But yeah, it's really filling out. Foxgloves in here, all sorts of things that have self-seeded. Um, I did pop in a few spare cornflowers, which some of which need a bit of propping up. Some are quite strong. Oh, foxgloves, beautiful poppies, um, and I just cut and dry the seed heads. Lambsia, 
all sorts going, oh yeah, mm, this wasn't so good. So I <coughs> direct sewed some gypsophila here, very excited that it all germinated and then we had some rain and I think it has all gone. So I'm reckoning slugs. So, alliums, um, honestly, it's a feeding frenzy here in the evening with these bulgaricum. The bees, the bumblebees, just zoom up the florets and, um, yeah, have a lovely time. The white allium and the purple sensation are just about done now. I've got a few Christophii that have managed to pop up. Um, and then I've got, I thought, again, these have disappeared, but they've appeared again. The alley and the hair as well. Okay, and on the other side, massive verbascum here, ready for the caterpillars that love it. Um, and yeah, I've taken out the pink campion, popped in the semlimonium. The cyanoglossum is looking lovely now, really starting to get a bit taller. And also, scabious as well in here the light so we've got some scabious in there as well so I managed to get the um, raspberries weeded so that's looking a little bit tidier oh yeah over here what have we got okay the snapdragons autumn sown snapdragons they're about to pop lovely little section of gypsophila covent garden and uh, some autumn sown clary and then I'm going to try and cut the honesty today and dry it so that I've got space for something else. Okay, perennial beds. Yeah, everything's really starting to take off now. So the Achillea, so I need to start looking out for Achillea aphid on that one. And then we've got Verbena, we've got uh, Limonium, the sea, sea Lavender that I can dry, um, Achillea, Double Diamond and English Mace. Polymonium is the Lilac. Plenty of lilac, I could do with some more white. And then the cat and anch is coming through. Veronica, which I divided. These are the divided bits, looking pretty good. Sedum, probably ought to Chelsea chop that. I haven't got round to it yet. Have a look on the other side. Um, yeah, the Euphorbia oblongata, which I thought had had enough, is actually flowering now. And I popped in some, I had so many larks, but I just popped them in the middle. The ones between the Euphorbia have been thoroughly munched by the slugs. Everything's looking really coming on. So I've got some um, Echinacea locks. A strand too is in flower. So I started cutting that. A tiny little patch of sort of a pinker one. This English mace is going mad. I need to corral all of these. Gypsophila paniculata, gooseneck loose strife, an empty patch which I put more larkspur in. I never have enough larkspur. Echinops has loved it this year, but it's slightly dominated. I've got very little Oringium. I've only got a tiny, couple of tiny bits right at the back now. Um, so, I need to keep an eye on that. Shasta Daisy growing in well. Let's have a look in the greenhouses, but there won't be much in there. 
okay i've been struggling to keep up with everything in the greenhouse um yeah these can really get hardened up now just need to get them moved out and then find somewhere to plant them haha <laughs> um yeah i've just everything seems to be further ahead than normal for me this year i don't know what i've done uh the pelagonium lots of which i um just took cuttings from so i need to get that staked up so it doesn't go all floppy so i can try and keep that vertical let's have a look at the other greenhouse okay so um the clary the clary's been really good in here actually uh, yeah a bit on the weak side lovely to have this early lark spare which i can use so i will do that again oh dear cornflower i think i might as well take these out i can't see that i'm really going to use them they're flopping on the floor they just got too big and then the annie enormous um but yeah i've got a few bigger things coming up which i should be able to use some of that for and then i've cleared the ranunculus and i'm gonna put some zinnia in here something heat loving is what i've been advised so that's what i'm gonna do it's kind of ready it could do with some compost and then it'll be ready to go and um yeah i've got some nigella in here again it is it is taller than the the, the patch outside whether it is worth planting mm, not sure Okay, let's have a look in the dahlia patch. Okay, so I have managed to plant up, fill any most of the gaps with dahlias. Honestly, some are almost about to flower. That's Arabian night. So I haven't done any cutting back yet, but I need to. Um, I really need to pinch a lot of, some of these out, not all of them. Some of them are tiny still. Scan around. So some have suffered with slugs more than others. As you can see, some have done pretty well. I noticed that Wizard of Oz was a target for slugs. Um, the poor twinings after eight is struggling as well. You can hardly see it down there. But where there's gaps, there are actually things coming through. They just got to beat the slugs, and I haven't got my beer traps organised just yet. But I think they'll get there. Um, it's just going to take the poor things a little bit longer. So dahlias are kind of where I want them to be. Um, and they yeah, haven't been down here for a bit. So I've got some scabiosa here, scabious, um, ordinary scabious and ping pong scabious. The ping pong scabious looks like it could do with a bit of help, maybe a bit of feeding. I've got grasses. Um, I've not grown this one before, Soteria. And then I've got panicum. Patch of panicum. I've got some more clary here. I hope I've got some purple clary. It seems to, I seem to have a lot of pink. Um, I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's purple. Anyway, can't do much about it now. Corn flowers. So this would have been like March zone. Let's have a look. Oh no, that was January zone. flowers and some more cyanoglossum for that blue that elusive blue um, and then yeah the raspberry patch which is my neighbours and then this little veggie patch here we've just got quite a lot of snapdragons going on and a little patch of limonium and some amaranthus Hopefully we'll enjoy the sun once it comes up in this little area. So all looking pretty good here. There we go. Maybe listening to the birds, the swallow that still hasn't really got a mate, which is disastrous. So 
such a beautiful morning. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm pretty amazed at how things have changed in the last month. So do subscribe and you should get a notification when the July video is up on YouTube. Bye.